Hello everyone, today we will see how we can stack different graph to a single window. The graph will look like this at the end of the video. In this video, there are three graphs that are stacked, but you can stack even more or less following the same procedure. So let's begin. Here I have the data for the XRD. The X axis is the 2 theta, and then I have three different uh, samples. Let's select all of the columns, then go to this option which says stack lines by Y offset. Choose this option which is stack lines by Y offset. When you click on this, all of the graphs will be stacked by a single Y axis. Now you can increase the width. As you can see from here, if I have to move this graph, I cannot move this. So for example, if you want to move these graphs up or you want to have a different distance between the graph, then you need to double click on the on the graph. Choose the option which says stack. Choose individual and then make sure this Y is selected and then press OK. By doing so, now you can really move the graph up and down. For example, if you want to have more distance between these graphs, then you can double click on this Y axis. The window will pop up. Go to the scale option. Change the values from zero to some values, which will be according to your data. So if I change it, if I increase it and then apply apply button, then you will see the distance will be generated. At the moment, I will increase it to a certain distance and then you can select this and then really drag it up. Now se select this Y axis, hit the delete button from the keyboard. Now again, select this X axis. Go to the scale option, choose vertical. Go to this special, uh, go to this line and text. Here you will see badger text, make it as none. And similarly for the minor text, also make it as none. And then press the apply button. And now go to scale option. I will choose it from six to 70 and then press apply and then press okay. Now make a single click on this white area. And then you will see here the options will pop up. Choose this layer frame and this will make a border for the graph. Double click on the y-axis. Here make intensity as arbitrary unit. Now if we have to give different symbols to uh, different peaks, choose this text option from this toolbar. Make a single click and then right click in this box. Go to insert and then symbol map. A window will pop up. If you want to choose different symbols, go to this advanced option. A number of symbols will open. Choose the one that you want. For example, here I want this one and press insert. A symbol will be inserted. Now select this symbol. Here you will see the window will pop up and here you have a font color. When you click on it, it will option it will open different options for the color. Choose your desired one. Now choose this symbol again and then make it an optimal size. For example, here I will choose 28. Select this symbol again. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl B from the keyboard number of times and then drag this symbol to the location where you want to have this symbol as a as a peak. Now choose text button again. Click on this on the peak where you want to insert the symbol. When you are done identifying the peaks, then again choose these symbols. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. The symbols will be copied. Now drag these symbols to the side of the graph. Now choose this text box again. Place it right next to the symbol. And here you can write the name of the symbol. For example here, if I want to make it as a subscript to number 2. And then here you will see the subscript option. Click on it and it will be done. Copy it and paste it twice so that it will be done. For other substances also. Text and make them bold. So select the text button again. Click right next to the layer and write the name. Select the text, make it bold. Now select it again. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V so that it will be copied. Place it right next to the layer. I'm doing it so that the all of the font size and styles remain the same. Name them. Now you can select the y axis, make it bold. Similarly, the x axis, and also make it bold. And similarly, the y axis. Here you can select this legend and press delete. In this way, a beautiful graph for your XRD data is generated. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and make a comment.